Welcome back everyone, I'm Caleb Dennison and I'm at Samsung's special CES preview event where we're seeing everything they'll have at the show floor and a few things that they won't. Of course, we're gonna come straight to the big one, the one that everybody's been anticipating and talking about it. I can't tell you how many times I've seen in the comments, I want a 77 inch QD OLED. Well, here it is, right here. This would be the Samsung S95C television and it is of course 77 inches that's what we'd hope they're also touting some additional brightness with this tv we're going to get into how that's done uh, on a future video but there's more to it than just that not just big it's not just a little bit brighter it also has a one connect box you guys know i'm a fan of this custom installers maybe not so much but i think for the average home user the one connect box is outstanding now we saw this integrated into tvs like the QN900B last year, where it seats nicely on the back of the uh, TV stand. Uh, it's very slim. It can actually put, be put anywhere you want it, but you can connect all of your devices directly to the One Connect box, and one very slim fiber optic cable runs up to the back of the TV to keep your installation clean. It's also got an enhanced audio system. So you'll notice on the back of the TV, there are several bass drivers and passive radiators that should prop up the audio a little bit. Can't speak to that because I haven't been able to hear it. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to crank it up in here. It's actually strangely quiet in here and suddenly a crowd has built around me. That's okay. At any rate, uh, the TV looks spectacular as you would expect. And I think this is gonna be one of the big ones that we review later this year. But I mean, the news speaks for itself, folks. Everybody wanted the Quantum Dot OLED that Samsung Display pioneered, and here it is in a Samsung Electronics television that you will be able to buy in 2023. But wait, there is more. Now that we have this 77 inch model, we have a new model to encompass the 65 and 55 inch version. That would be the S90C. So this is gonna look a lot like the S95B did from last year with a more conventional design, a more conventional stand. Uh, the audio is about the same as what we saw uh, last year, uh, but it may get some of the improvements on the second gen QD OLED panel that Samsung's display has developed. Now I'll have a lot more to say about this TV as the show progresses. So this isn't the last of the new S95C that you're hearing from me. But for now, I just wanted to get you a really good look at this, kind of explain that there is now a new tier system between the 55, 65, and now 77 inch. It's here, very exciting. But you know what, that's not everything that is here. I've got a couple of big surprises for you in store. Let's go check them out. So for the past few years at every Samsung CES display, we have seen the 146 inch eye searing the wall, the micro LED TV that just absolutely blows us away with its intense brightness, perfect blacks, super vibrant colors. Well, for a long time, folks have been asking, well, when is that gonna be brought down to a size that might work in the average living room, the average home? And we have seen them modular coming down in size over time. But folks, let me show you this. Right here to my right, we have a 76 inch version of Samsung's micro LED technology. Now that is getting a lot closer to something that is increasingly being found in, in folks' homes. But if that is still too large for you, no worries, because we now have a 63 inch variant and it's gonna go all the way down to a 50 inch size. Now, these are just proofs of concept. Basically, Samsung is saying, look, we can do it, we've done it, here it is. None of these are confirmed to be televisions, at least the smaller sizes aren't confirmed to be televisions that you'll be able to buy in 2023. That's not happening yet. But every time I come and see Samsung put out a proof of concept, ultimately that ends up becoming a product in some way. It might take a couple of years, but Samsung has a great track record of actually bringing these products to market. So the big news here is that if there was any question about whether or not Samsung would be scaling down its micro LED TV technology into something that might actually fit into your living room, the answer clearly is yes. Now some commentary on these. They are intensely bright and I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a heads up right now. I'm gonna be talking a lot about the brightness wars going forward this year. I'm gonna be talking about how bright does your TV actually need to be before it becomes too bright? I think a lot of people have questions about that. What I can say here is that these are indeed 
dazzling. They're also modular, let's be clear about that. These are individual panels that are fairly seamlessly integrated together. You can't really tell that there are individual panels here unless it goes completely dark and you look at it from an angle and then you can kind of tell, oh yeah, I see that there are some seams there. But when they're in operation, even on a dark scene like this, it's really difficult, almost impossible really, to tell that there are individual panels at play. So this is super impressive. It's a non-organic technology. So there is no burn-in potential. It can get extremely bright, so all the benefit of an LED-based technology without any of the drawbacks of a backlit display technology like LCD. Pretty exciting. Now, I think that Samsung still makes a little something called Neo QLED. Yes, I'm pretty sure they're still in the QLED TV game. Let's go check that out. Okay, so I'm standing in front of Samsung's new 4K Neo QLED line. Here's the 65 inch model. Over to my left is the 8K Neo QLED line and those are still going strong. Honestly, it's a little bit difficult to kind of piece together what exactly is different this year about the 4K Neo QLED line because Samsung's been a little bit, uh, I don't know, not tight lipped, but just not gushing with details, I suppose you could say about the new Neo QLED 4K line. What I did notice is that there is no one connect box on any of these TVs. So if we're looking at the QN95C, um, there's no one connect box. It looks like that that has been made an 8K exclusive thing. Of course, we only had one model here in the US in 2022 that actually came with the one connect box in the 4K tier and we practically had to beg for that. So maybe that'll happen again this year. Otherwise, there are no obvious differences. The stand looks very similar. The bezels look very similar. Um, they are perhaps a little bit thinner than they were before. I'm sure there are lots of things going on inside of the TV that might be different, but we're not looking at a lot of public information about the difference in the uh, number of zones or the peak knit output. I am assuming they're going to be extremely competitive in terms of performance for 4K TVs, but uh, it seems like Samsung really wants to talk more about Neo QLED 8K and micro LED TV, which is interesting. Let me, let me show you something really quick. So if you look at this graphic that Samsung has up on the wall, it's got micro LED on top, followed by 8K, followed by 4K Neo QLED, and then OLED at the bottom, which I suppose from a marketing perspective makes some sense for Samsung, but I actually feel like the excitement and the interest uh, would have this flipped upside down. I'm definitely most excited about Samsung's new QD OLED products. I think that the Neo QLED 4K is going to have that broad mass appeal, 8K increasingly becoming more niche even though it's newer, and then micro LED obviously is kind of a pie in the sky sort of deal, although it can do some very cool things like playing four games all at the same time. That's pretty interesting, right? Um, but I also, before I go, need to make a bit of a correction or clarification, if you will. So earlier I mentioned that the uh, new QD OLED lineup is broken up into two different models. You've got the S90C and S95C. So to be clear, the S90C is not just for 55 or 65, as I suggested earlier. Sorry, I'm kind of doing this live. It actually includes a 77 inch model as well. So there will be a 77 inch S90C. But if you step up to the S95C, you get the 77 inch screen size, yes, but also the enhanced audio and the one connect box. So they've already created a premium tier of QD OLED and then a slightly more accessible tier of QD OLED even in just its second generation. So that's all pretty exciting news, I think, coming from Samsung at CES. We will also be visiting Samsung Display, and we expect to learn quite a bit more about the second gen QD OLED panel, so stick around for that, as well as way more TV announcements coming your way. Live from CES 2023, I'm Caleb Dennison. I'll see you on the next one.
Hello, everyone. Today, I'll be your docent and walk you through the great work you're about to see. Shall we? First up, ancient Persia. Thousands of years ago, they believed that the sky was painted blue from the reflected light of sapphires. Just like this blue room. Once a mysterious gem, the sapphire is now, surprisingly, the basis of micro-LED technology. Symbolizing eternity, the sapphire and its light shine on its own forever like this. So, what happens when you fill the screen with this small but strong light? Follow me for the latest advanced display technology. Everyone knows that micro-LED is the best display technology out there, but not everyone can make it happen. First, let's think about how small micro-LED really is. It would be like cutting a single centimeter of hair into 200 smaller pieces. Samsung has achieved remarkable results in the area of this ultra-precise technology. Each of these ultra-small micro-LEDs is a semiconductor that receives electric signals. In other words, Samsung combines its world-best semiconductor technology and impressive display technology to do work that is extremely delicate and advanced Let's take a closer look at this amazing technology. Overall, moving ultra-small LEDs from a wafer to a screen is a very difficult and demanding task. First, we solve the existing problems of tolerance and distortion by changing to glass substrates for the screens, enabling us to attach more LEDs at a higher density. In addition, we improved upon the process of having to move each RGB chip individually, one stamp at a time. The development of our more precise laser technology enabled us to work much faster, since we could move multiple chips at once. For the LEDs to act as a screen, we also use vacuum optics to connect electrical signals in order to allow no room for error. Once these micro-LEDs are gathered, they form a module. Many of these LED modules are then combined to form a screen. The result is a beautiful, seamless screen made possible by Samsung's innovative technology. Starting with the module, micro-LEDs have limitless scalability as they are resolution-free, bezel-free, ratio-free, and even size-free. This means that the screen can be freely resized in any form for whatever you use it for, just like a building block. That is why micro-LEDs are the next generation of displays. Take a look at this. The expressions change according to the light, right? Depending on where the light hits, the object's three-dimensionality and texture will look different. Because micro-LEDs are self-illuminating, turning off the light produces complete blackness. Samsung's micro-LEDs now offer fine details in 20 bits with colors and brightness spread over a million levels, depicting detailed shape, texture, and volume to perfection. Just as the artists during the Renaissance studied contrast between light and dark in order to better depict realistic betrayals of the human form, today's Samsung engineers studied the same, leading them to the resolution of those centuries-old concerns, the micro-LED. 
Well, what about color? Micro LEDs are self-illuminating devices that emit red, green, and blue colors. Therefore, there is no need for a backlight or color filter, like conventional displays. And micro LEDs give us true-to-life perfect color expression as they individually produce color and light. Using ultra-fine devices made from inorganic sapphire, micro LED has also solved issues that arise from the passage of time, such as the loss of light and color found on other displays. In addition, self-illumination renders the number of pixels meaningless by creating perfect contrast, unfiltered light, timeless color impressions. But don't forget audio. The micro LED has a center speaker that delivers vivid sound seemingly directly out of the screen. If you add the 120 watt 6.2.2 channel specifications and OTS Pro function, you get a rich, clear and immersive experience that makes you feel as if you're sitting in a movie theater or concert hall. Our masterpiece, the micro LED. Wherever your space is, whatever size it is, and no matter what you use it for, the micro LED is ready to fit in perfectly.